Imagine this, the date is September 9th, 2024. Apple fans around the world are glued to their screens, eagerly waiting for the latest iPhone reveal. But guess what? You don't have to wait until then to know what's coming. Today, I'm spilling all the details about the highly anticipated iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus. Trust me, there's a lot to get excited about, so let's dive in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video informative and, and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. So the latest buzz around Apple's upcoming iPhones comes from none other than Mark Gurman of Bloomberg. He's confirmed that things are moving full steam ahead with the iPhone 16 already being shipped from factories loaded with the new iOS 18 software. Yep, you heard that right. The iPhones are basically ready to go. But what does this mean for us? Well, it looks like Apple is super confident that everything is on track. The iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus are set to be unveiled on September 9th. And if all goes as planned, you'll be able to get your hands on one by September 20th. Mark your calendars. Now let's talk about the, the design. At first glance, the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus might look a lot like their predecessors, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, but here's where it gets interesting. Flip them over and you'll see a big change in the camera setup. Apple is expected to switch things up by aligning the two rear cameras vertically instead of diagonally. Why? Well, this new arrangement will allow users to shoot spatial video, a super cool 3D format that you can enjoy on the Apple Vision Pro. Previously, only the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max could do this. But that's not all. The iPhone 16 series is also expected to introduce an action button, say goodbye to the traditional mute ring switch that's been a staple of iPhones until now. This button is fully customizable, so you can set it to perform different tasks, not just muting calls. And on the opposite edge, rumors are swirling about a new capture button designed specifically for snapping photos and shooting videos. Imagine being able to zoom in and out with just a touch. The display sizes are likely to stay the same at 6.1 inches for the iPhone 16 and 6.7 inches for the Plus. But don't be fooled, Apple might be using a new OLED material that's more power efficient, which could mean longer battery life even with the same screen size. And speaking of vibrant, we might see some fresh new colors this year. The keynote invite hinted at yellow, pink, blue, black, and white. Could these be the new shades for the iPhone 16 lineup? Only time will tell, but it sure sounds exciting. As for the cameras, expect them to be similar to what we saw on the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. We're talking about a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. And yes, that includes a telephoto image created by cropping the central 12 megapixels on the 48 megapixel sensor. It's a setup that worked well last year, so Apple seems to be sticking with it. Here's where things get really exciting. The processor, unlike previous years where the pro models got the newest chip while the non-pro versions had to settle for last year's tech this year. Every iPhone 16 model is expected to come with Apple's latest A18 chip. Why? Because this chip is going to power Apple Intelligence, the company's new artificial intelligence platform. And for that, you need some serious processing power. Plus, the new chip is rumored to tackle the overheating issues that plagued the iPhone 15 Pro. So we're expecting a smoother experience all around. So, when can you get your hands on these beauties? The big reveal is on September 9th, and if Apple sticks to its usual playbook, pre-orders will start a week later, with the official release set for September 20th. That's just a few weeks away. So, there you have it. Everything we know so far about the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus, whether it's the new design, the upgraded processor, or the exciting new features, there's a lot to look forward to. Which feature are you most excited about? Drop a comment below and let me know. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more updates on all things tech. I've got you covered with the latest news, tips, and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.